Now, we're going to press the red F, and notice that it always puts the machine in the park position whenever that red F is pushed. So that is a great feature just to allow you to park the machine so that if you want to coach or talk and not have the machine pointed out at, at the players, you, you can put the machine in a safe position. We're now moving on to the load routine page. And simply by pressing load routine from the main menu, you'll get a choice of, of routines. And there's over 40 routines in, these, uh, in this section, but they're divided up into into different sections. For instance, team, infield, outfield. We can go down here to catcher, pitcher, and even batting practice routines. So if you'll notice, you can scroll up and down and then select a routine by simply touching it once. We're going to look at the pop -up, team pop-up priority first. So as, as you notice, you can see the outline around team pop-up priority. Now at this point, it just selects it. I still have to go to a page in order to throw a ball. Let's go to the play page and notice that the machine doesn't move yet. Once I come to the play page, I want to touch the first ball in the list to initialize that routine. And you see, as it says, pop up behind third base, the machine is set to throw that ball now. Now I can either do one of two things. I can manually throw it by pressing the throw button and you'll notice because the advance button's on that it moves to the next ball in the list. If I touch the advance button and turn it off and hit throw, it'll throw that ball, but it won't move. It will stay on the ball that's highlighted. I'm going to turn the advance button back on and hit throw, and you'll notice it'll throw that ball and move to the next ball. So we're on ball three. Now, we can do a couple of other things. We can automate this or we can skip some of these balls. So let's talk about enabling or disabling one of these balls. For instance, maybe I don't want to throw a ball to behind first base. If I just touch the on button, it toggles to off. So when I hit throw, it actually throws the ball I'm on and skips the ball that I turned off. This is very convenient when we're doing routines where maybe some of the players aren't there or I just don't want to throw to that position. A lot of times you just want to throw it to one side of the field or the other and you can customize your routine by turning on and off different balls. Now the other thing that we can do is we can, we can automate this routine. And so by having the advance button on, we can select the options, go down to the auto fire button, and right now it's set at 6 seconds. We could change that to say 5 seconds. And so now when we press the play button, it's going to scroll through all of these balls and you can see as it's throwing it, it'll throw the ball on ball six and then move to ball seven. And again, once, once it's ready, it will throw it and then move to the next ball. And it will continue to run until I either play, press the pause button or it runs out of baseballs. And so at this point, it, it finished the, the routine, the nine balls, and then went back to the top of the list and continued on. And now I'm going to press the pause button. At this point, if I wanted, say, to adjust that ball, in other words, the pop-up down the third base line wasn't exactly where I wanted it. If I press the ball page while I'm highlighted on ball three, you'll see that ball three is, is the ball I'm on, pop up near the third base line. I can adjust this by touching elevation, changing the elevation or the position or even the speed or the spin. So all of those things can be changed by just selecting those different attributes of the ball. You, you can also test the, each ball by pressing throw and you'll notice it stays there because the advance button is not on. If the advance button were on, it would move to the next ball. But we want to we want to just test this ball, change it, throw it again, and once we like it, maybe we want to change the elevation a little bit more. Now we like where it is. We can go back to the play page, make sure the advance button set up or is highlighted, and hit prep, uh, play, and it will pick up where it left off. 